Welcome to Kit Catastrophe. My name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Deluxe Class Autobot Hound. This figure came out in 2018 as part of Wave 1 of the Deluxe Assortment. Hound, as always, turns into a military truck resembling a Jeep, this time done up in a uniquely Cybertronian fashion. This vehicle mode is boxier than Mike Tyson in an Amazon distribution center, and beefier than a cow holding a grudge. The overall proportions are extremely strong, with the huge wheels and a general low profile. Both the head and tail lights are nicely picked out in paint, and the front grille is given a silver dry brush effect to simulate wear and tear, which I appreciate. The bronze accents are aplenty on the hood and rear, and the gold star is very apt, as I'd give this vehicle mode a gold star. <laughs> I like how there's a facsimile of an interior molded in there, but sadly he can't fit anything in there, at least to my knowledge. Hound is absolutely covered in 5mm ports, mostly situated on the rear. There are a ton of potential combinations, but my preferred configuration includes the green weapon placed at the far rear on the passenger side, the black gun on the passenger side rear port on the black block, and the ammo container in its specially made slot at the rear. Transformation is easily the most complex scheme out of all the figures I own so far, and features a metric butt-ton of solid locking connections that you have to mess with before you really get going. It can get a little annoying, but I appreciate the effort to make the brick shit house of a vehicle mode. Hound pulls a Titan's Return Cup by having the entire sides of the vehicle wrap around and form both legs, which is a trick I'm super happy to see again on a Transformers figure. Sadly, while the backpack holds up nicely, it doesn't exactly tab in securely. At least, it won't flop around like a dead squid. I'll say it, when Hound was revealed, I did not like his robot mode. Now? Well, it's grown on me a little bit. He looks pretty good, but sweet baby Jesus does he have a case of colossal calves, with all four of those monster tires being placed back there. In all honesty, the ginormous lower legs makes the rest of him look weedy and small in comparison, at least besides the chest. Speaking of the lower legs, the shins are covered in the same dry brush effect. The head sculpt is really nice and very spot on to Hound's cartoon design, but the panel behind it kind of ruins the look for me. It's just a pet peeve of mine. Hound comes with two superfluously named weapons. The first is the RT-10 Electroscope Launcher, which is a sort of analog of Hound's hologram projector, which I like to keep perched on his shoulder. And the second is the W-5 Hollow Beam Refraction Blaster, a combination of the black gun and the ammo clip. This one I like to keep in his hand, though as with all Siege figures, there are a veritable infinite possible combinations due to the sheer number of 5mm ports available. Of course, if that's not enough, you can human centipede the weapons up to make the HD Vector Beam Mega Blaster. Yeesh. Here's the obligatory cog pulling a jet fire and plastering himself to Hound shot. Hound has a ball jointed head, but you wouldn't know that because it pulls a Combiner Wars onslaught by not actually being useful for anything other than simple left to right movement. The universal joints at the shoulders are much freer, as are the elbows, which bend 90 degrees, and the unimpeded swivels at the wrist and bicep. Hound's legs could bump into the backpack if you spin his waist, but that thing moves out the way so easily since it doesn't really tab in place. The universal joints of the hips are fine, meaning that the only limitation would be the immense size of those calves. The thigh swivels are basically non-existent, but the knees can bend nearly 180 degrees due to transformation, making for some very impressive flying kicks. Finally, the ankles are the deepest I've ever seen on a Transformers figure due to the transformation. Obviously, he's the Autobots residential limbo champion. Oh, and his toe can wiggle, I guess? Hound is the poster child for Siege's secondary conceit of loading figures with a smattering of useful joints at every size class, and he is far more poseable than I had ever expected from the initial reveal pictures of him. Step up your game, Sideswipe! I'll be frank, I did not expect myself to like Hound this much. But here we are, 800 words into a review that's more glowing than a rave in Pripyat. This is usually the part of the video where I'm like, Oh, is it a good figure? Of course Hound is a good figure! Well, he's a great figure. If you haven't picked up any of the Siege lineup, Hound should be one of the first figures you go for. Wave 1 of Siege has been pretty strong so far, but we haven't covered all the deluxes yet. Will Cog live up to the standards set by his kin? 
Well, you'll have to wait until next week for that, as I have something a little more special planned for Review 50. This has been Kit Catastrophe. It's time to transform and roll out!